Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to today's Survivor Exit interview. Uh, my name is Gordon, uh, Gordon Holmes. Uh, we're new to this. We're new to the YouTube. We usually do this in print. Uh, I've been enjoying it. I hope you've been enjoying it. Uh, if you have, please let us know by pressing that like button, pressing that subscribe button. Uh, some people tell you to smash it. That seems aggressive. Do it at the velocity uh, you feel is necessary. Uh, and if you're not enjoying it, you know, keep it to yourself. Because I got to be honest, I'm very sensitive. Uh, one negative comment and it's a spiral. Uh, with that said, let's uh, get into today's Survivor Exit interview. Sydney, welcome to my Hangout. Oh, thank you. Um, I, 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 think, I think we all know why you're here. Um, we knew this was coming for four reasons. You're a physical threat. Yeah, I'm sorry, you're the threat of threats. You're savvy as hell. You're good looking and you're a physical threat. So you really have nobody to blame but yourself. I know. I literally think the only way I could have like helped myself in this game is by amputating my leg. <laughs> I, I, I get like a real Tyson energy off of you, which I'm, I'm here for. Um, I might be a little old to be saying things like I'm here for, but I said it. So <laughs> um, so talk me through the hours leading up to last night's crazy tribal, because it seems like Deshaun immediately flipped on you the second he heard he was in trouble. Did you, did you sense something had changed? So that's what it kind of showed, but like that really wasn't with what was happening it like made sense because he's like well like what's the safest option like it's Sydney and like I get that like just wanting to save yourself energy but like leading up to that it was between Evie and Deshaun 100% and mm -hmm. like that that was that and my strategy going into the game was like I want to be liked by almost everybody and not everybody and it was for that exact reason like Evie and Deshaun were so likable like they were so gregarious towards everybody like everybody loved them and lo and behold they're on the chopping blocks so I'm like literally like calling genius like this worked brilliantly but I was never comfortable by any means I knew like things could happen so at that point like it was kind of like how we're gonna play it being Evier Deshaun plus the advantages I've never I've never been too likable that has never once in my life happened um, I thought Liana, it was like this season, but whatever. Uh, Liana's moment with the knowledge of power advantage was pretty embarrassing. Um, what was your assessment of that car crash? So, you know, I was supposed to be the intended beneficiary of that knowledge is power um, because like that alliance, which I was very much with, wanted to get Evie and like the way they could like solidify that and save me was by stealing Xander's idol. So I'm sitting there, oh yeah, just not surprised because like nothing surprised me at this point on Survivor. I'm like, okay, good, like good job. But I was also like tight with Tiffany, Xander and Evie. So it wasn't like I was totally, because like they still thought it was with them, which like I was still open to. Like I was not like 100% decided at Tribal. So I'm like, okay, like this kind of sucks, but see what the fuck happens. So, you know, <laughs> as much as it sucked to be me last night, sucks to be Liana, <laughs> she got clowned. Uh, got, did your uh, did your closest with Tiffany start when you two visited Excessive Advantage Island with uh, Brad? I love Excessive Advantage Island. Yeah, so I would say so. So basically, like one thing that they didn't really show was like my brilliant idea. Like we get to the island, like listen, there's a million fucking advantages like floating around. Let's just minimize them. I would say let's all choose like the not risk or whatever it would have been. So tarp, um, but I'm not dumb. Like I'm literally not dumb. Like someone's gonna choose an advantage. So let's let choose one person she was like I want it and I'm like okay bitch calm down right I'm like Brad this stand-up Christian guy who doesn't say bad words I'm like him and I'm thinking knowledge is power like if I know where it is and I could say definitively that like Brad has it then like great like that was good enough for me at that point so me and Tiffany both chose to stick with the plan so right when we got to the beach um I'm like I didn't I didn't choose the Silva. I didn't choose Silva. It was like, okay, we did that because we wanted to work together, but we just needed that assurance um, to make sure that like we were cool. And like, from that point forward, like, like that's family. Like my favorite point of the show, like one of my favorite moments was like my, one of my last nights, just me and her just up all night laughing, like literally just like laughing. She's the best. So yeah, that was a great relationship. The, the original subhead for this season was Survivor 41 too many advantages, but then they just went with 41 for whatever reason. I know, uh, Name. This, it was like Survivor yeah. 41, like let's get Sydney out. 
<laughs> um, Nasir, uh, he was originally a name that got bounced around, but then that kind of seemed to, to, to go by the wayside. Was it because, uh, you know, Deshaun and Danny working closely with him? Were they afraid of his idol? Had he been telling people about his idol or did he assume it was still a secret? So <laughs> hilarious. It's, it would be really nice if like people had brains, but like not everybody could be so lucky to have more than a fucking pulse. So we get back to the beach and is like, I'm playing my idol. And everyone's like, okay, so like Nasir's going to play his idol. So like, we can't vote for Nasir. So like, let's vote for someone else and then we'll flush it and we'll get someone out. Isn't that great? And it's just like, you're so fucking dumb. When he catches wind of this, he's just not going to play the idol. And I'm like, you guys, he's not going to fucking play the idol, right? So it's like, we're keeping an idol in the game. I'm just like, oh my God, I was kill myself so in order to have flushed that idol we would have needed harmony from a lot of people and also the problem is we would have had to split the votes and then like it causes problems when it's like deciding who to split with and then people are like well they're throwing my name to split with i'm clearly at the bottom so therefore we have to do this and like this so people were just scared of the idol people wanted to see her out like that was no problem but people were so scared of the idol so this was survivor who's the scariest like that's what the season should be called. That's not a bad. That's not a bad subhead either. Um, so the whispers start up at tribal, and you decide to play your magic die. Um, did uh, had had you were you able to to sit there and see who was with who and do the math, and and you realize that your number was up, and that's why you rolled it? Because you know when they show us all this edited, we have no idea what's going on. But ha did you have a pretty good feeling that you might as well because it was your turn? So. I first I was like I just don't think my vote's gonna matter that much because in tribes of six your vote really matters I'm like we're 12 I'm thinking I'm thinking Erica doesn't have a vote because everybody that got some sort of advantage in the game had to risk their vote so I'm like I don't think she has a vote I don't think my vote's gonna matter that much so I'm like and then I'm looking at the way like the alliance is played out where the idols kind of stood and I'm like based on like the looks of things I I'm the only option. So I'm like, I'm actually the only option. Like this isn't out way out, out way out play out last. This is out an option. Like I am out option. So I'm like, I would rather my fate be put in a 17 or 16.7, whatever percent dice than these fucking losers. Like no way. Like I don't want them determining. I want to determine my fate. Like that's on me. So Oh, I don't think it's me being a control freak. I think it's me actually just hating everyone so fucking much. Okay. Uh, we do, uh, this should be fun. Uh, we do a word association here to get to know your tribe mates a little bit better. I'll give you someone's name. Give me the first word, couple words, <sighs> swear word, haiku, whatever pops in your brain. Uh, let's start off with uh, Danny. Family. Okay. Uh, Deshaun. Homie. Erica. Cutesy. Uh, Evie. Uh, cool. Uh, Xander. Joe. Tiffany. Hilarious. Shan. Smart. Uh, Ricard. Pretty. Uh, Liana. Dull. Uh, Nasir. Annoying. <laughs> and let's uh, let's finish off with Heather. Demonic. <laughs> <laughs> that was not what I was expecting for Heather. Um, actually, I what like. Uh, what did you expect? You know, my my theory is Liana got the knowledge as power advantage. My I, I was worried if Heather wondered did Heather get some kind of like silence as golden advantage. <laughs> no, it's uh CBS was trying to keep the ratings up. Is she advantage. demonic? Is that is is that what's going on? Is that there is some kind of a devil worship demonic thing going on with Heather and they just don't want to bring that to primetime TV. No, I think maybe demonic isn't the right word. Just like, maybe like if I could use two, like fucking annoying. Just like, she was just like, she, like I'll admit, she takes up real estate in my brain sometimes. Like free real estate in my brain. Where it's just like, it was so difficult to live together. And like, as a person outside of the show, like respect her. Um, I don't like her. That doesn't mean I want to hang out with her. Doesn't mean we have to be friends, but it was... It's not easy to live with someone like Heather. I want to see like, her. What, okay, just because we never see her, like what, what kind of things were going on that made you feel this way? You know, I feel like there's a lot of people that like seek external validation. So maybe this is like a personality flaw on my part where if someone's seeking it, like I will not give it to you. Like, absolutely not. Like if you ask for it, like I will not give it to you. And it's just like, sometimes there's just four words to live by and it's called shut the fuck up. So it's like, when we're just sitting there, like just stop talking. Like don't boss me around. It's like, you can't say anything without her relating it back to her. Like it, 
it's like this holier than that, like pregame, like we were asked the question, like, what's the most embarrassing moment? And she was saying like, oh, like, I just don't get embarrassed. Like, same. I, I don't either, but you pick a fucking moment. My mom, I farted in the second grade. Like, that's my, like, just, are you really like that? Just holy that you're not, like, you never get embarrassed. And then you're the first to admit that after your failed challenge, you get embarrassed. So I'm just like, like, you're 52. And it was a really sad reality that maybe like, will I not know who I am at 52? But then I was like, all right, let me go back to reality. I know who the I am. So like, I don't have to worry about having those crises. Cause I'm Sydney Eagle. My uh, goal coming into this was to get you to admit to farting in the second grade. So, hmm. Oh yes. Mission accomplished. Uh, if things hadn't gotten all weird and time travel-y, uh, what was the plan uh, headed into, you know, that, that immunity challenge? What, like, what, 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 who were your people and which way were you going? Um, well, Luvu was like, we were not trying to keep Luvu. So we were gonna vote for um, Heather or Erica, probably. Like Erica's a smart, savvy player. So it's like, let's get her out. Um, and Heather, like the whole argument, like Deshaun really wanted to keep her was, she's a goat, like you can beat her at the end. But my argument was, that's taking a spot away at the end. So like having a one in three shot at like making it to the finals versus a one in two shots, a huge difference. So like, I was not willing to like miss out on one of those opportunities because if I had a chance to get there, I could be one of the three or two other people at the end. So that was kind of the idea. Are there any hilarious things you said or did out there uh, that we didn't see that you wish we had? Uh, hilarious. I mean, me, I think like, I thought it was funny when like I roasted Heather after her like failed immunity challenge, like, yeah, never gave up. Okay, cause, cause you're gonna get, cause you're gonna stop. Okay, great, congrats. Uh, I, I don't believe in participation trophies. Like I'm the first to admit I'm a loser this season. So like, sure, like I'm, I'm a loser, I'm gonna try again, hopefully, and I'm gonna win. Uh, so that was hilarious. Also like we had an apology. <laughs> like, it's like, all right, Cindy and Heather, like you should apologize. She's like, 15 year old you called me a bitch I'm like I actually called you a bitch the truth is I called her a bitch but like it was funny I, I did call her a bitch but I wasn't gonna be like oh, I'm sorry for calling you a bitch I'm like well I called you a bitch so I apologize for that bye all right Sydney thank you so much for your time you're so much fun I wish I wish we had seen a lot more of you on the show I appreciate it I hope you don't say that to everybody I don't I, I say I say you were fun to watch um I say hope to see you again I do hope to see you again again you're, you're my kind of player um but I, I try not to, I, I figure it'll it'll get back. But like you say it to everybody. I don't say it to everybody. Okay, good. Some people. Okay, yay. Some people. Because I'm only going to watch me. I don't, otherwise I don't watch podcasts. Oh, then I never only say me. anything. To, I never say anything positive to anybody, if that's the case. If this oh, is the only one you're watching, I never say anything. Uh, we, uh, this is, I have to go through and bleep out all the curses. This is going to take me all day. If oh, you're my if, bad. If you're watching, if you're if you're watching this later this afternoon, I apologize. It took me so long to get up, but this is on both of us. This is this isn't this isn't just a city thing. I said it a few too, so I apologize. Okay, cool.